Today, I'm going to calculate the grade point average, or as you like to call it, GPA, of a semester of classes. To compute the GPA, you first convert each grade letter into a number based on the value of each grade letter, and then you take the average of those numbers. So as an example, let's apply it to Ethan's grades for his semester right there. In this scenario, Ethan got two A's and two B's. An A is worth a 4.0, and a B is worth a 3.0. All that came from the given information on what each letter grade represents in Ethan's school. Ethan got two A's and two B's, so we compute his GPA by taking the average of 4, 4, 3, and 3. Since these numbers sum to 14, Ethan's GPA is 14 over 4, or 3.5. Now this problem wants us to find the greatest possible increase of GPA between Ethan's semesters. In order to have the greatest possible increase in your GPA, what do you do? Well, get the highest GPA in all your classes or as you call it, get straight A's. So in Ethan's case, his maximum increase happens when he gets all A's in all four classes of his next semester. Then the sum of his values for his eight grades will be 14 plus four times four, which would equal 30. And so the GPA of Ethan's eight classes will be 30 divided by eight, or 3.75. This means that the greatest possible increase of Ethan's GPA from this semester to next semester will be 3.75 minus 3.5, or 0 0.25. And he can have the best chances of actually obtaining that when he does well in school. Hi everybody, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.